creators welcome back to the joy art club i appreciate you being here today i want to show you how to create a design on canva and upload it to printful for your online store or for yourself so let's get right into this so we're going to go to canva.com and i have a pro account you can use a free, but the free does not give you as many options as the pro. So let me just go to create a design. I like to create my own size. So I'm going to create, click on custom size. It's going to be in inches. And for Printful, most t-shirt and sweatshirts, sweatshirt designs, typically, at least for the Bella Canva t-shirts, start out at um, a 16 by 20 size so on canva when you download your final design it is not a 300 dpi so what we want to do is make the image larger than a 16 by 20 so that we can increase the dpi and it will compromise the size of the um of the image so you're going to get an increase in dpi but the image size is going to go down but that's okay because we created it larger so let's make this a um, 32 by 40 instead of a 16 by 20 so we're just making it twice as large so i put in my units which is inches i put in my dimensions 32 inches in width and 40 inches in height and i'm going to create a new design all right so we have our canvas workspace and i am going to actually hop over to my website which is called joyartclub.online And I am going to download one of the many free images that I have here for you. So let's click on this one. Let's click download now. Uh, I don't want to have to put my email address, but let's just put in, okay. Okay, it thinks I'm a customer, so I'll do that. Okay, so it's downloading. It has downloaded. Okay. Okay, so now we are back over to Canva and I am going to upload the image that we just downloaded for free from my store. So here's the image. You can see it's loading here. When I click on it, it will pop over onto the workspace. So I'm going to take my cursor and drag the image out to the edge for the most part, because when I designed this image, I put in these cute little boxes on the bottom where you could actually write in uh, whatever text, whatever text you want to write in. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little hoarse. Now I'm going to click on the text box and I am going to add some text. What can we say? Black and I'm going to duplicate that. And for those of you who are new, the way that you duplicate an item, if you click on the item, click the double or the plus sign here, you see it says duplicate. So that's what it's going to do. It's going to duplicate that item for you. So, but what I want to do is I want to change the font. I'm going to go up here to the font box right here. And let's change the font to, I know most of you thought I was going to choose Boho regular. For those of you who come here a lot, you know, I love that font, but I'm going to try something different this time. I am, um, I'm a creature of habit, that's for sure. So let me find something cute. Let's do gold splash. 
and let's do gold splash for this one as well and i want to click on this text box i want to choose effects and i want to outline it and i want to outline it maybe in gold and i want to do the same for this box the educated text box so while i have this text box box chosen where it says black if i click on the three dots here i can click on i can choose copy style and go down to educate it and it will copy the same style down here so i think i want to make the font on both of these a little bit larger so i'm going to increase this font let's see how big can we make this and sometimes you can just kind of drag the box out by grabbing it on the ends and instead of the word and, I think I'm going to just put the ampersand sign. Is that what it's called? The ampersand? Well, the and sign. <laughs> okay, so let's change that also to gold splash. We don't have to outline that. And we're going to make educated a little bigger as well. Perfect. Okay, now... With these designs that I've created for you, they're pre-done pre for you. You can add whatever elements you choose, but just remember that some of these elements are not available to you, but you can always look on my store because I do have elements available for you to use. If you don't see some that are free in Canva, you can just come over to my store and maybe I have something there that you would like to use. So let's go back to Canva. In the meantime, I am going to go to elements here and I'm going to type in gold. I'm going to click on see all and let's see. <clears throat> My throat is really dry. I apologize. Let me, I'm going to add maybe a butterfly or some butterflies. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's put some butterflies right there. That's cute. Duplicate that again and put that up here, make that a little smaller. <clears throat> okay, so now I think my design is ready to go. So I'm going to click on share. I'm going to download and I'm going to say transparent background and download. So while this is downloading, Okay, it takes a second to download. Okay, so my image is downloaded. So I'm going to go over to dgb.lol, which is an absolutely free tool. And when you click on the home button, you will see a lot of different tools. I've not used all of them. I've used the Quick Upscaler, and I have also used the DPI uh, enhancer. So we're going to click on the DPI enhancer. And remember, the reason that we want to do this is because we want our um, image to be a 300 DPI because Canva only saves it as a 96 DPI. So let's click on DPI enhancer. Why isn't it opening? There it is. And we are going to upload the file here. Okay, I'm finding my file. Okay, it's uploading. And the desired DPI is 300 DPI. You can go higher, but 300 is fine. So we're going to click submit, and it might take a little while. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to you as soon as it downloads. Okay, it shows me now that the file is ready. You see this little box over here? When it's in the queue, working on it, it's going to be blue. And when it's ready, it's going to be green. I'm not sure what the yellow is or the red. I'm guessing maybe, oh, I'm not sure. Okay, so the red means it's finished with some errors. The green is ready, it's finished. The yellow is it's running task. And the blue is new task. 
Okay, so we are done. So now we're gonna download our file. Okay, it is now downloaded. And so now we are going to pop over to printful.com and we are going to upload a new design. So remember when I was talking about the DPI, this happens to be a design that I was um, working on just to test it. And the DPI is 167, which is good. You know, if Printful tells you it's good, then it'll, it'll come out fine. So 300 is gonna be perfect, okay? So, but now let's, let's delete this right now. Come on, delete that. And we're going to upload a new design, which is the one that we just downloaded. So let me go to upload. And let me find my design. And it's uploading. Printful is pretty fast. Now let's see what happens. Okay, so it says that this is okay. It's 320 DPI. So you see how that enhancer changed the DPI for us because when this was downloaded from Canva, it is it was only 96 DPI. So this increased it to 320. Now, sometimes I, I was mentioning this in another video. You see, it says file contains semi-transparent elements. So it's just letting you know that this file has some semi-transparent elements and it does, and it's the watercolor behind. So they're just letting you know that, hey, when you get this design, it's not a solid color. And that's okay, because this is what we chose. This is the design that we wanted to have. So here is your design. It looks great. Um, let's see, if we choose mock-ups, you can see it on the different mock-ups. Oh, this is great. So it's showing you the t-shirt itself. It's showing you on the model, her posing with it. So this is great. So of course, if you use Printful, this, these are some of the uh, model images that you could show on your Etsy store. This is the back of the shirt. There's no design on the back, but this is how the shirt would look. So I think it looks great. So anyway, I just wanted to come to you and show you that. Just remember two important things. When you create a design on Canva for a t-shirt, it should be 16 by 20 when you upload it. So when you create it on Canva, make the size 32 by 40 so that when you download it and then upload it to dgb.lol. You're going to use that uh, DPI enhancer. It's going to change your DPI to a much better DPI. It just means that the design will be very clear. That's all. And that way, when you upload it to Printful, it will be very clear. If we had just uploaded the original design, it wouldn't be a very good um, quality image. It might be okay. It may have come out like a hundred or something like that. And Printful may have said it's okay. But you know, when you when you're giving your customers your work, you you want to do the best work that you possibly can. So I just wanted to come to you, let you know um, a little bit about uh, DPI and enhancing your images and things like that. And remember, this design without the words on it is free on my website. So don't forget to go to joyartclub.online. Okay. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Love to you all.